Hello guys. Hi guys. Hello guys. Hi guys. Good afternoon. Sorry. Good evening. I think uh, okay. So guys, good evening. How are you? Um, okay. So in this webinar, I am trying. Um, I will show you. I will show you what is deep learning. Okay. So देखते हैं कि deep learning क्या है. So what is deep learning? So deep learning is a subset of machine learning in artificial intelligence AI that has networks capable of learning unsupervised data that is unstructured or unlevel, also known as deep learning or deep neural network. Okay, so guys, what is unstructured and unlevel? Let me explain. Uh, suppose, uh, तुम लोगों के पास एक CSV uh, CSV जो कि Excel file होता है तो वो जो CSV फाइल है तो उसमें देखोगे कि ऊपर जो कलम रहता है उसमें बहुत ही सारा फीचर्स होता है ओके okay. 
so features features means uh suppose maine main tumko ek apple diya aur apple deke bola ki kitna tarika hai ki tum is apple ko dekh kar uska size jo ki apple ka jo size hote hai wo and third one is कि एप्पल का टेस्ट तो इन तीनों चीज देखकर तुमको पता चलेगा कि ये एप्पल है तो ये जो थ्री चीज ये जो थ्री फीचर्स मैंने बोला वो ही है इनपुट फीचर्स सो इन सीजीमेट्रिक्स यू विल सी दैट देर आवर देर आवर कलम इन द टॉप ऑफ इन टॉप यू दिस टाइप ऑफ कलम इज कॉल्ड इनपुट फीचर्स इन डीप लर्निंग देर आर नो इनपुट फीचर्स or no column this type of things is called unstructured or unlevel there of no input features or there of no input column no no apple uh, not a company apple means a fruits okay so so guys this is called unstructured or unlevel so any question about unstructured or unlevel okay i think there are no question so uh in deep learning deep learning is something a uh, learning suppose maine ek aapko tum logo ek main example deta hu live jo ki bahut hi easy and bahut hi helpful hoga deep learning samajhne ke liye suppose ek chhota sa ek child hai jo ki jisko kuch nahi aata okay jis jo जिसको कुछ नहीं आता जिसको फीलिंग्स भी नहीं आता कि क्या हो रहा है सामने उस कुछ भी नहीं आता तो वो कैसे सीख सकता है ओके okay. सो so, पहले क्या होता है कि उसका जो मम्मी है उसको पहले सिखाएगा कि ऐसे 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 करके तो इन डीप लर्निंग तो मशीन ऐसे ही सीखता है ऐसे ही समझता है कि क्या होता है ऐसे जो सीखता है इसको होता है इसको कहते हैं अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग so guys there are three learning one is supervised second one is unsupervised and third is reinforcement learning so today i am i am i will describe you about supervised and unsupervised learning so what is supervised learning suppose you want to go delhi okay suppose you want to go delhi and you already have a experience about delhi's weather about delhi's people about delhi place you already know that uh, so that's why you don't need to think that why delhi is why how the delhi weather is or how the delhi people is you don't need to think right so you have already experienced about the delhi you already have you already have experienced about delhi so guys if you think that so this type of learning i mean you already have experienced about delhi so this type of learning is called supervised learning and suppose you want to go shimla and you don't know about shimla's weather or it is a first time okay this is a first time that you want to go before you don't you before you can't go there before you before you you have no experience about shimla about shimla's people about shimla's weather so you think that you want to go at first time this is your first time so when you go shimla when when you will go shimla then you will you will learn something new that is shimla's weather then shimla's people shimla's place so this type of learning is called unsupervised learning because you 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 don't have any knowledge about shimla's just you entered shimla and you earn something so this type of learning is called unsupervised learning and the, what is reinforcement learning the reinforcement learning is a kind of supervised and unsupervised okay so i think you will be able to learn what is deep learning you will, yeah, i think the whole concept is clear about deep learning so deep learning is nothing about just learning something from experience okay experience means that is i right i'm uh, i'm explain you that unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning what what is unsupervised learning is kind of learning something based on your experience so deep learning is also same thing deep learning is also unsupervised learning it also learns something based on your experience okay so let me explain about deep learning neural networks so what is this so in red one this is a input layer what is input layer let me explain 
suppose your mom uh, showing you apple is just i i explain you the same examples because it is too much easy for understand about deep learning so suppose your mom give you a apple uh, that is look like here of a here of a in the simple neural network you can see there are five red dot it's called a five input features okay so one input features is will take the apple color the second input features will take the apple size the third input input features will take the apple taste and the fourth input features will take the apple types and the fifth input features will take the apple place where the apple grows okay so this is a five input features it will take five different different data types so suppose your mom tell you that what is this after your after, uh, sorry okay at first your mom you showing you apple and uh, and tell your and your mom tell you that what is this uh you don't know what is this so your mom explain you that these are apple these are the apple color is red and the apple mm, color is red or apple um, taste like these or something something else so you learn that is apple and this apple color is something like this so when you learn something it will goes to a hidden layer which will be see you in the yellow dot yellow dot is a hidden layer it will learn it will it will learn something the experience it will learn something experience so the connection between input features and hidden layers is called weights the weights is fully connected between each other okay so that's why this neural network is a best neural network for learn something new because it's connected fully connected and it's connected each other so that's why it's a great for learning okay so uh so you already learn about apple what is apple and what type of apple it is something whatever okay now after 5 years later your mom ask you the same question but this time your mom did not showing you apple this this time your mom are uh, showing you some apple pictures now you have to recognize that what is this so how can you recognize okay so how can you recognize you recognize when you when you will see the apple color and you will compare this color between your previous experience okay so when you get something when you when you will see that is the, when you will compare first you will see the apple color is red your mom when uh, the images of the image which your mom will showing you the color the in the images that of apple and which color is red and you will in in your brain it will be strike that uh in your previous experience you also see the apple color is red one combination is right you will go to the next combination you will see the apple shape and you will compare the shape between your previous you it will you will compare the shape based on your previous experience so you will you will think that uh, this shape is also same then it's passed and you will predict that this is apple same thing happen in the neural network in the neural network same thing happen in a hidden layer in hidden layer the hidden layer learn the whole experience okay in the hidden layer the hidden layer the neural network learn whole experience based on the input features and after learning the experience they can predict based on upcoming input so whole thing is uh features input features and the whole thing is called a neural network so this is the neural network so there are us single perceptron neural network that is simple neural network and there are a multi perceptron neural network that is deep neural network deep learning neural network in the second images you can see that there are a lots of hidden layer in one hidden layer there, there are a one function and second hidden layer there are a second function that's that's why there are a four function that's why there are a four hidden layer i will be explain you later why what is the difference between the four hidden layer and the single hidden layer okay now this time i will show you some videos about MNIST dataset. So MNIST dataset is a dataset here. You will see that. You will see that. The neural network three visualization it will be easy for you to understand what is neural network. So this is the MNIST dataset. Input. The random thing is the input, and the neural network predict the output. So so you 
can see that there are output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150
convolutional neural network convolutional neural network is a one of the most famous neural network uh for uh the convolutional network is one of the most famous neural network for computer vision so in convolutional neural network computer will understand the images and the image pattern something convolutional neural network will understand the image pattern so in image for understanding the images we use convolutional neural network and generate the images into ann that is artificial neural network for understanding the neural networks so this is the convolutional neural network what is recurrent neural network recurrent neural network is a, one of the most powerful neural network in the world because recurrent neural network uh, there are one, one most popular algorithm that is called that that's called lstm long short term memory it's a really a great algorithm for learning the sequence you will see that when you type google stock price you will see there are a stock price so when you predict the stock price the when you predict the stock price it will predict the stock price based on the previous sequence to 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 learn this the previous sequence is called is uh, called a new recurrent neural network we used an equal network we faced the neural network recurrent neural network for learn the sequence after learning the sequence that can predict the in fear that can predict the in future stock price prediction so this is the uh, three algorithm for deep learning these are three deep learning super yeah also i forgot to tell you that these are supervised algorithm uh, ann cnn rnn is three algorithm is supervised so in this in this tutorial in this intuition uh, i only fully focused on supervised learning because if you don't know what is supervised then you you will be you're not able to learn that what is unsupervised learning because unsupervised learning is a pretty tough for understand so that's why this session is fully based on supervised learning so so guys this is one of the most craziest thing that this is the cheetah which will be made by deep mind lab so at first the cheetah don't know how to walk second they can they learn something how to move then after 5000 iteration um they will understand then how to move and you can see that they are moving so these are too much these are great experience by deep mind lab so this is a deep learning startups and also these are world highest world popular deep learning organization that is deep mind google ai open ai uber nvidia microsoft ai these are one of the most famous company for deep learning so guys next we will see some world changing deep learning research really it's a great <laughs> this is a great and in this research you will see that uh, the awesome experience experiment um, the, uh, in this video you will see that awesome experiment about deep learning so these are scientists guys can you tell me you hear the sound can you hear the sound guys can you tell me please uh one second one second Okay. Uh, so, guys, this is
So uh, I don't know why the why the sound. Hey, one minute, please. Okay, so you hear the sound, right? Then see. So this is a startup. Here, this is a startup DeepMind. So DeepMind, what did it do? It made an AI-based चेस बनाया जो कि चाइनीस में खेला जाता है कि अल्फा गो जिसका नाम है तो उस चेस बना के चाइनीस का सबसे टॉप चैंपियन को उसमें बिठा दिया खेलने के लिए तो ये क्या हुआ कि एआई जो था वो किस सबसे आगे है तो वो चाइनीस जो चैंपियन था उसको हरा दिया तो आप लोग देख ही सकते हो कि उसका पेपर भी बहुत नाम है आ गया कि बहुत ही शर्मिंदा हो गया वो कि वो हार गया फास्ट टाइम तो इस बाहर ऐसे ही रिसर्च होते हैं डीप माइंड पे बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है तो अगर आप लोगों को बहुत ही इंटरेस्ट है डीप माइंडिंग पे तो तुम लोग भी ऐसे इधर जा सकते हो अगर तुम रिसर्च आई मीन नॉलेज के अंदर करोगे बहुत सारी नॉलेज यहाँ पे जाने के लिए तो आई विश तुम लोग जाओगे इंटरेस्टिंग रोबोट्स कंपनी है जो कि बहुत ही एआई बेस्ड अच्छा सा रोबोट बनाता है तो चलिए देख लेते हैं और एक मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग रोबोट्स Too much crazy guys. So this is an example, real life example of about deep learning. So <laughs> lol.
right back towards the end of the version. Also, the fear of the fear of the fear of the fear of This awesome robot for is a real life Iron Man like this. Is a is a real life Iron Man seriously. So okay, guys, this is uh, sure sure comment karna konsa acha laga. <laughs> so okay. So guys, this is one of the most interesting research by DeepMind. These are reinforcement learning. These bots automatically learn how to survive and how to walk. So you can see that after lots of iteration, these bots are able to walk um, in this track. Guys, तुम लोग बताओ कैसे लग रहा है मेरा सेशन ये क्योंकि मेरा फास्ट वेबिनार सेशन है ये मुझे पता नहीं कि क्या मैं कैसे एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ तो तुम लोग बताओ कि कमेंट सेक्शन पे कि कैसे लगा थैंक यू तुम देखने के लिए ये वीडियो It's great. It's, uh, these are example of reinforcement learning. So guys, I hope you understand that how reinforcement learning work. So, so these are one of the most important libraries for reinforcement learning and deep learning also. These are uh, these libraries are created by different different company. That is. One is PyTorch. PyTorch is one of the most important library for image vision or computer vision. And TensorFlow. TensorFlow is you already know about TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a god for the library for deep learning. And okay, okay, Tuhin. I think there is something. There is some my internet. My internet connection is not good. So that's why I think it's lagging. Okay, you want us? Okay, I think. Okay, wait. So, this is a library for deep learning. Okay, now step by step guide to Google TensorFlow. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, I think are you excited for learning TensorFlow? Uh, so let's go. Build our fast model, MNIST data model. So, so let's go. Okay, mm, let's type TensorFlow. TensorFlow tutorial. So, this is the code which I will explain. So here, import TensorFlow STF means here I am importing our lib TensorFlow library. Okay, and here in the here that MNIST dataset is already inbuilt into the TensorFlow library. So that's why we don't we do not import the dataset. Just we we take a variable which is MNIST and just call tf.keras.dataset.mnist. 
it's just it just uh, already takes the in mnist dataset into mnist variable okay so now i am splitting this dataset into x train and y train and in x train and y test jo ki mnist dot load dataset ke matlab dataset se ye split ho jayega okay now here is the most important part so here model is a variable where we call what i call tf.keras.models.sequential so what is sequential let me explain sequential is the most powerful algorithm for deep learning and it's a inbuilt algorithm for tensor it's a inbuilt algorithm uh, for tensorflow tensorflow gives sequence algorithm for learning the sequence of the learning the sequence pattern for uh, learning the sequence pattern from the data set okay so here tf.keras.layer is the first layer which layer will flatten flatten means it's take that image and image it's take the image shape okay guys let me explain about flattening what is flattening when suppose you have a data set with hd photos okay so hd photos basically hd photos have a huge dimension that is uh 1090 into 1080 like right so these are 1090 into 1080 is a pixel dimension height and width and they are also into three three means the three channel which is red green and blue rgb so there are about three channel between the between a color picture so there are high dimensional images so in deep learning computer just understand what happening it's not that computer have to understand the best what's happening or best images for understand no just computer in deep learning computer have to understand what really what is what the image really actually is so in deep learning what happen here the images here here the here um the image convert into a small images the high images convert into a small images that's why i write this line i sorry i not here tensorflow write this line it means the it's take the input shape of the images which is 28 by 28 if you give the images as a input as a input when you give the images like the images of like 61 to 64 then it converted the images size 28 by 28 for understanding the real, because our system have our system don't have any high level gpu for optimizing images for optimizing image size so that's why the we have to convert the image into low pixel because our system our processor our graphics card is not faster to optimize the high level images because it takes too much time for optimize the high level images so that's why uh so that's why we take we convert this images into a low images okay so tf.keras.dense it means it will give the activation function so what is activation function functions let me explain and what is dense so guys uh when if yeah, you have a two class okay you have a two class that is cats and dog okay so you have uh, i am giving you a task that uh, i tell you that you have to choose or not choose you have to um optimize the images optimize and you have to differentiate these images based on two class okay so suppose you have a two class cats and dog now you have to understand now the machine have to understand that which one is cat and which one is dog when the machine will understand then i will randomly give you some other cats images that then i will see what the image the what the machine tell after looking these images so so here how the machine understand that which type of images it is so that's why we use activation function to so relu relu is the one of the most powerful activation function which is advanced sigmoid function so guys you know if you don't know what is sigmoid let me explain what is sigmoid 
So sigmoid is a curve. Okay, you will see that sigmoid. So sigmoid is a curve. This is a curve, and here when you give two class, then it will then this curve will differentiate the data set into two type two class. One is suppose if you give cats and dog data set, then this curve will differentiate the cats and dog based on the data set. So here suppose here the cats will be here and the dogs will be here because it already differentiate the cats and dog. So that's why we use relu layer because when you have two class then is the best activation function for use. Okay, this is the best activation function for use. So activation function means the relu layer. So after that we have to compile this using optimizer that is Adam and we use loss function sparse categorical cross entropy and matrix equal accuracy it will showing it will when you train your model then it will show the accuracy of your model step by par epoch and it will in this line will show you the accuracy par epoch so let me run this code and let's see what happened So guys, this we have to run. Just press Shift and Command and Control Enter. It will load and it will import. This is a Google Colab. It's really a good platform for deep learning for uh, creating your model for testing your model. It's a really a good platform. So here I'm just importing the data set. Okay, it's complete. Now we have to split the data set into two parts: X train and Y train, and X train and Y test. So the uh, here the data set will download. Downloading the these are data set, and this is the loading. So sorry guys. Oops. Sorry 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 sorry. Mm. I'm really sorry guys. Okay. So shift enter. Shift enter. Okay, let now it will download the data set, whole data set from the library. After downloading this data set, it will split the data set into four parts one is X train, Y train, and another one is X test, Y test. Okay, now we have to create our own neural network. So, this is whole, this is the this is a whole thing, this is a whole neural network from scratch. So, TensorFlow gives you some basic stuff and TensorFlow will help you how and TensorFlow will help you to create your own neural network from scratch that's why that is really a great for you guys to implement your own neural network from scratch so this is that's why we'll that's why people use TensorFlow so what is the difference between TensorFlow and Keras this is the most important question uh, in interview the interviewer can ask this type of question what is the most important what is the most um sorry what is the difference between tensor and keras so if you guys know about web development then you guys then you will know that there are about two part one is front end one is back end so in web development what is front end part definitely html and what is back end part definitely php so here in deep learning in tensorflow keras is a front end and tensorflow is a back end those guys those guys who don't know what is tensorflow and how to because tensorflow is pretty tough for beginners because in tensorflow you have to create your own model from scratch but in keras you have you just you just create your own neural network just using some line of code so that's why uh, some most of the people use keras because keras is pretty easy for building a neural network and Keras is a high-level API, TensorFlow API. Keras called the high-level TensorFlow API. So that's why Keras is a small Keras. When you create your own TensorFlow own, oh, sorry, when you create your own neural network, it's pretty easy when you create when you use TensorFlow, when you use Keras. And it is pretty tough when you use TensorFlow because in TensorFlow you have to implement the whole things from scratch. Then you can able to build your model. Okay, so here. I am just I am build my own neural network 
and now i have to feed my this neural network from into the data set you can see that model dot feed means this is my model where the neural network is implemented now i have to now i am feeding our model into the data set for predicting in the for predicting the future images so now i press shift and enter it, you can see that it will show some epochs uh, so you you guys see that there is a epoch and this is the loss this is a good model that's why the loss is too much small and accuracy is too high is a great so you, it will show it will show some epochs so i define five epochs so it will goes to five and after completing the five it will stop and it will show, show you the how much accuracy it found for learning so here what happened in back end every words are updated and every words learn from new data points uh, that's why it's when he, when it learned from the data set it will predict the previous learning and in future learning and after predicting the previous learning and future learning the different the subtraction between predicted and future learning is called a loss function you will see the loss is getting small because the weight is getting updated so that's why the loss getting small and accurate and accuracy getting high because it learned something it already learned a uh, very when weight already updated so that's why the accuracy get higher so guys almost our model trained so it's showing us that our loss is this and our accuracy is this 98 percent is a great accuracy guys so guys i think i hope you will learn something new i don't know how i explain in this tutorial and how i explain to you it is my first webinar okay guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you to him thank you Ritam, for watching this video thank you a lot guys after this session i promise you that i will organize a big event at techno india university uh, i hope that you guys will be there if you want to learn something new and you will get some mm, good stuff from google if you attend this that event okay so that's all for today and this is uh, basic deep, deep learning stuff i think you will be able to learn what is i think your whole concept will be clear about deep learning about tensorflow about keras so thank you so much guys for watching this video and thank you so much goodbye hi guys thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye if you have any doubt about this session then please tell me in comment section definitely i will explain in our college because uh there are um, i there are no time for explaining this right now so guys please tell me ki kaisa laga ye video please batana zaro okay Let Tada and goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.